Hey you guys, welcome back. I am so excited to make this video because honestly, it's probably one of my favorite videos to watch on the internet. I love seeing what people were going to name their baby or list of names that they love. Let's dive in to girls and boys names that I absolutely love and adore but won't be naming my baby. Okay, let's do girl names first and then I'll leave boy names last since I'm having a baby boy. But the first girl name I love is Remy. Oh my gosh, I think this is the cutest name ever. I just imagine a little girl running around and named Remy. I think it is the cutest name. The next name that I absolutely love is Ozzy. And I feel like there's like, I love the names that are E's, like the Remy, Ozzy. I don't know what it is, but I just love it so much. I think Ozzy is the cutest name. And I don't know why, but I love Z's in names. I think they're so fun and so unique. And so Z's in names, I'm just a big fan of. Okay, the next one I love is so, 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 so cute. It's Poppy. And I heard this name when I was in London. Um, I can't remember if it was the first or second time I was in London, but anyways, there's a bunch of little school kids in their uniforms, and I heard the teacher yell, Poppy, come here. I literally almost melted right there because she had her cute little boots on and her uniform, and she had blonde hair and little pigtails. So I just imagine a cute little girl named Poppy running around. And I think that's such a cute name from like when she's little and like a teenager. It's just a cute, fun, basically like sunshine name. I think it is Darling. So Poppy. Oh, so cute. I don't know why, but I imagine a little bit more like edgier teenager or like woman when she's like grown up. But I love the name Indy. And I think it is so cute. Again, with the E's, the Remy, Ozzy, Indy. I love the name Indy. I don't know why, but like when I think of Indy, I think of this like boss babe girl who like has her stuff together and is like conquering the world. But anyways, I just love the name Indy. Okay, my last one I feel like is just a classic for a girl. And the name is Reese. Oh my gosh. I picture a baby, a toddler. I picture elementary, junior high, high school, someone in their college years, and then someone who's married, and then a grown woman. I just think it is perfect for all stages of lives. There's just some names that I do feel like that aren't the best for either like a baby or a toddler, but this name is like such a classic, like all the way through. In fact, my cousin's little girl's name Reese, and I just, oh, to die, and she's so cute too. So Reese, I definitely think should be on the top of your list if you're having your girl. Okay, let's get into boy names. Now, we don't even really have a name for this baby, and I'm about to give birth super, super soon, and I never thought I would be one of those people that didn't have a name, because Luna, we had a name just right off the bat. It's been so hard with the boys, so hard. We've thought about naming him Kaloni after Kaloni and calling him KJ, not giving him the name Junior, but it would be KJ for Kaloni Junior. Um, but Kaloni doesn't want to do that because he says that everyone in the mainland has such a hard time pronouncing his name that if the, he was in Hawaii, it would be super easy. And I do agree with that. I, I don't want them for the rest of their life having to correct people and I think I would go a little insane if people kept pronouncing his name wrong. So we are still debating on a name. But these are other five other names that I absolutely love and adore but we decided not to go with them. So let's jump into boy names. Okay, the first one I seriously love so much and I honestly probably think I would name my boy this if Kiloni wasn't Hawaiian, which sounds weird because it's a Hawaiian name, but the name is Kai. And the reason being is I love short, simple, to the point names that are strong and dominant, which I think this is. But with Kiloni being Hawaiian and from Maui, this is a very, very common name. 
And so a lot of people name their children Kai, or even in the mainland, a lot of people have named their kids Kai. Um, so I just love things that are a little bit more unique. I think it's so, can you say pretty for a boy? I think it's pretty, so pretty. But because Kehaloni is Hawaiian, and that is a very common name, we're gonna pass on that one. The next one, I think, oh my gosh, is so cute. I think this is like a classic name for, again, for baby all the way until they're a grown man. And the name is Oliver. I love Oliver so much. In fact, I actually love the name Olive too for a girl and Oliver for a boy. But Kiloni is not down with the name Olive for a girl. But I think Oliver is so cute. And I just picture some like a little boy in like overalls and just like the classic clean kind of dressing, like just whites and neutrals and just the cutest little Oliver boy. But the name Oliver, oh, I just love so much. All right, the next one, Ford. I love the name Ford. And let me tell you why. I feel like this is a strong, dominant name. I love names that are strong and dominant. So my nephew's name is Diesel, and when my brother and sister told us all the name was Diesel, we were like, ooh, that is awful. But now it's probably my favorite name because it's so dominant and I feel like it'll be amazing like if he's like in a workforce place and he's just this like really fit like suited guy named Diesel. So great. That is what I think of when I think of Ford. I think it's a very dominant, strong name. Unfortunately, Kamalani, which is my last name, it's hard to go with a lot of names. So a lot of names that I love, I feel like do not go well with Kamalani. Like Ford Harris, which is my maiden name, Harris, is love it. I love the name Oliver Harris. I love the name Reese Harris. I love the name Poppy Harris. I love the name Harris with everything because it just like goes, but Kamalani is so unique. And don't get me wrong, I love my last name. It's just so unique that you have to find a good name to go with it. So unfortunately Ford, I don't feel like Ford Kamalani would go well. The next one, it's just kind of a given since I told you guys that I love the last name Harris, but I love the name Harrison. And I think it would be such a cute, like, tribute to my family side to name my son Harrison after Harris but again Harrison Kamalani it just it just doesn't flow and I need something that just flows and it has a little bit uniqueness to it but isn't so unique and weird that people are like Ugh! but Harrison is such a cute name too and so but unfortunately we're not gonna use it the last baby boy name that we well, when I say we, I say me, really likes, and I feel like it's the same kind of lines as Kai, um, is Koa. This is a really, really strong Hawaiian name, I think, too, and a lot of people do use the name Koa in Hawaii, and so that, too, is why we're not gonna name our son Koa, but I think it is so strong. It's short and sweet. It's a very dominant name. I do think the only problem too is that I didn't want to name my son with a K because in the Hawaiian culture, Ks are very common for names. And I start with a K, Kiloni starts with a K, and then this baby would start with a K, and Luna starts with an L. So I wouldn't want KKLK. Which, it honestly doesn't even matter, but just me being weird, I wouldn't love that. And not only that too, I just don't want Luna to feel left out. That sounds really dumb, but I just, I don't want her to feel left out. And I think of like necklaces of like initials or things like that, it'd be K-L-K-K, -K -K. mom. Mm, I don't know if I'm down with that. But Koa, I think, is a super, super handsome, fun, strong, dominant name. 
All right, you guys, those are the names that I absolutely love. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe for us. It would mean so much and you won't miss a video. And I have a lot of fun videos coming up, especially with Baby Boy on the way. Um, if you guys have any names that you love, you should put them in the comments down below because again, we're not stuck on a name. We're, we are literally going to be those people that probably walk out of the hospital without a name and we're trying to figure out a name at home. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.